Hello, um, welcome to the Saturday Wrap for Saturday the 4th of July 2020 and it's raining. This is a semi not serious satirical look back on my week that ends today. The Saturday where the pubs open in England and so far and it's half past 10. Things seem to be pretty calm and um, well anyway I think I've got uh, Scottish McEwen's champion in the Tutlal glass so um, I'm still in training there is no hurry I'm just going to take it nice and easy because when I go to the pub I try to avoid people anyway with or without the Rona anyway what happened this week well starting on Sunday and in the hats off to them section hats off to um Amazon and Amazon delivery drivers because my office chair has arrived um, not stolen from the office actually bought from Amazon which I like better it's got that sort of black um, uh, mesh sort of covering that you find in lots of anchor products and I like it a lot so that was a positive and it didn't take me too long to put together and I'm sitting it on it at the moment. And then July came. Um, as I've already said, it's raining today. It's rained for most of July and the way that I look at it as April and May were summer and June and July are actually, well, spring if not semi-winter, that's a little bit cold and rather damp. And where is the summer? Rain, stop, play, no doubt. Anyway, talking of weather, Apple was supposed to can Dark Sky on Android and on their website. Luckily, they pulled it back for just a week. I don't like it when um, large companies take over smaller and very successful organizations because Dark Sky is my favorite weather app. Whether it is on iOS or Android or just the web. Let's go Weather Radar on as well. And I think from iOS 14, Dark Sky is going to be integrated into their weather app and maybe not a separate app, which would be as far as I'm concerned, a great step backwards because I'm British, I obsess about the weather and I have lots of different weather apps including Weather Pro and um, the Met Offices app which isn't as good as you would hope to be perfectly honest. Anyway, I've been looking at other Android apps and I think it's called Another Weather that's looking like the number one replacement for the moment. The developer seems to be rather positive and updates regularly and takes good feedback, which is what you actually need. That's what I actually need anyway. Um, there you go. So um, I've been going to Aldi a lot. Um, Aldi are open a lot of the time or a long time until 10 o'clock at night their staff are friendly you don't have to queue much and i wouldn't say they're dirt cheap but they're certainly um cheaper than tesco um, i've been to asda's for ages i have to be honest or morrison's however i used to go to little all the time but when they opened the new aldi in Caffilly, um it was on my way home and it was less of a distraction and i was in and out so i haven't been to little for ages so i went back TLDR, too long didn't read. I would suggest that they build a little next to the Aldi or the Aldi next to the little because they both have strong points. Uh, Little's main one is that they have a, I wouldn't call it a bakery because I think they just heat the products up there, but they have fresh bread and uh, delicatessen sorts of things. So I like that a lot. Queuing um, longer than in Aldi, um, but not that much. And they also had frozen chicken jalfrezi. 
whereas all you only have uh, chicken tikka masala. So I've got two of those, like the wind. And two masks, because if I'm going anywhere to drink, it'll probably involve public transport. Not that public transport's that public at the moment, and this is not a criticism of those who are on the sharp end, but uh, at some time, public transport will have to transport the public. At the moment, you can't really do that. If you want to go anywhere, um, work-wise, obviously, because we're only allowed five miles in Wales, um, I'm not quite sure what the scientific evidence for that is, especially in mid Wales, and then we get told that it's only advisory. Uh, it's a mess. Um, uh, I can't remember what I was saying. Oh, yes, cars. You've got to have your own vehicle. you definitely got to have your own vehicle. You may be able to be here, the wind blowing away outside there. Yeah, July. Anyway, um, in England, the pubs are opening today, as I've already mentioned. And my plan, as I've said before, always was to give it two weeks. I don't particularly want to go to a pub where there's craziness involved. But I would be quite happy sitting in a corner of one of my favourite pubs or bars where they have lots of fine ale and gently seeing my Saturday away. Food would be a plus point as well. So there we are. That's my week. Next week, next week is looking, well, less wet. Well, it was up until I saw the weather forecast this morning, and now it's looking a little bit mixed. So, the great British summer. And there's piles of football on today, which my dream teams, um, mid-table mediocrity. So I'm happy with that. Anyway, um... Cheers. And this is a wine t-shirt, which is Welsh, with a twist of England. Um, so, um, thank you very much, and goodbye. And let's hope the sound is okay this week. <laughs>